Hello YouTube world, this is Mac Daddy 1911A1 with the Shade Tree Survival Stone Chemo's channel today. Um, she wanted me to make a video for her because she's been sick last week or so and her voice is pretty raspy on how to make a pool heater. And uh, this is her idea. She uh, got on the internet, she looked around and see what other folks had to warm up their pools a little bit. And she didn't want to get it hot. But she wanted to get it comfortable and I think 85 degrees is pretty much what she had her mind set on and in the last couple of days since she assembled it it has worked out really really well now I'm going to get her to pan around here and show you this simple design it's laid out here in the yard so that the Sun as it comes up in the morning heats that black hose and it's pumped back into the pool and it has raised it about five or six degrees in the last week or so Okay, the first thing she had to do was to get another pump. And this is a pump off of a smaller swimming pool that she bought, she got from her cousin. And she simply bought a couple of hoses so she could have one drawn straight out of the pool and running back in. Now she first started off with 25 feet of one and a half inch plastic pipe. And the pipe that we're using is for a sump pump and it's called a sump pump discharge hose got it at ace hardware and the second one this one here the bag uh, the uh, hose that came in this one was one and a quarter we found out that it works better with the connectors and we also got those pool hose connectors from ace hardware for one and a quarter inch to one or one and a half inch first thing you need to know if you buy this hose the clamps they send with it ain't worth a damn, okay? Go out and get you, uh, get them to get you a couple of really good, high-quality clamps, okay? And this is what we're talking about right here. Zoom in for me, baby. These clamps here, this is the piece of crap they send with it. It ain't worth a dang. It strips out. Uh, Kim's hands on a screwdriver stripped it out without any trouble. And these here, I can't even strip them out, and I got really, really strong hands. And while we're sitting here by the pump, in order to keep any crud out of the hose, she wanted to put chlorine in it so it would continuously run through the hose. And what she did is just take an old filter and cut cut the filter uh, media, is what this is called, the paper media, away from it. Take the plastic interior that keeps it from sucking down and crushing when the, when it's been water's been drawn through it. And she just cut it out and took that plastic, stuck it down in there, put a chlor tab in it, so she's got constantly a good strong source of chlorine in the pipe to clean it up. Then we just got the pump, clamped the hoses all together and ran them out so that the sunlight, that they're all directly in the sunlight and the sunlight is heating it. And last but not least, oh well, yeah, we need to uh, show you how she attached it to the pool because if you don't, the hose will not stay down in there. And on this side, uh, it's not that big a deal except even with the pump off, if this hose goes out, it'll be below the level of the pool and the intake hose, and it'll siphon the water right out of it. We dropped about four or five inches just simply from the, the suction action, the siphoning action, right out here onto the dirt. Just lost it. The second one is the intake hose, and, and, for what it, and the plastic is lighter weight than the water so it'll float so she had to clamp it so it'll stay below the water level otherwise otherwise you know if she didn't it would just sit there and float right on the top start sucking air you wouldn't you wouldn't get any benefit out of it and uh, last but not least last year I she was always working out here so what I did is I put her in a uh, electrical outlet out here made for wet water locations ground fault protected but what she did is she got a analog timer so that that pump for the uh, <coughs> the heater hose it'll come on every 30 minutes and it go back off and it'll in other words it'll for 30 minutes it'll heat up and it'll run that warm water back into the pool and it'll shut back off all using this timer here I thought that was a great little very smart addition to it like i said all this is her idea open I didn't up have the it. timer okay and that's what the timer looks like and you just set it according to how the book says but this is all chemo's idea and 
I had little to do with it except for uh, put the clamps on the hoses and the connectors together. And uh, also about that black pipe, I don't know what kind of toxins are in that kind of pipe or how well it'll hold up uh, out in the weather, but we're going to try it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Didn't know it until Kimo told me, but some uh, garden hose are actually, ha actually have lead in them, so you have to be careful when you're buying that type of stuff and check on that. Anyway, this is Mac Daddy 1911A1 and Kimo, and uh, this was how to build a pool heater. Y'all have a good day. Thank you for watching.